who's joining me on YouTube at Renovate and Real Estate, make sure that you go and have a look at some of the other videos. They're short videos inside this group with loads of learning about renovation. So if you're interested, go and search for the topics that interest you the most and take a bit of a listen. So um, here we go. Today's topic is DIY hacks. It's something that people ask me quite a lot about, about what I do and what I like to do to save money during a renovation and uh, why I think that these are a great idea. And here are some of my top ones. First of all, VJ board, what a blessing. The invention of VJ board. If you're pulling out a wall or you're replacing old Jiprock or you're adding a wall just to be able to pop this stuff up yourself, fantastic. I've done VJ board. My reno coaches are ladies. They do VJ board by themselves, as do many of my students. Uh, you don't need a builder. You don't need anyone with expensive qualifications. Any handyman will put this stuff up. It is fantastic. It is on trend. It is easy to deal with. It makes a room look fabulous. So, yep, go grab some VJ board. VJ board. And Wayne's coating. I've been following American sites for a long time. In the US, they have this knack of creating beautiful, homely homes. They have been using Wayne's coating over there for years, for many, many years. And now in Australia, it's becoming very relevant and prevalent. So here we are on the block this week, which is obviously country homes. They're trying to do some country homes. And you'll see a heavy use of wainscoting throughout this series. So this here, if you just break down the elements rather than going, oh, I couldn't do that, break down the elements and take a really good look of how this is installed. That is two vertical strips of trim, there, 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 and there. You could glue it, screw it, nail it in. It's not going to matter. It's up against a wall. If you do it well enough and use good product, it's going to stay for the duration. That is pretty, pretty simple, guys. There's no reason why we can't do that in our own homes. Here, I mean, for Hamptons and also coastal, this is, and country, this is just gorgeous. This is wainscoting. So have a look at it. That's Jiprock wall. That's Jiprock wall. That's Jiprock wall. And it's just getting some beads, some really attractive trim that you like, you really like the profile of, and doing really nice corner joins and sticking it up. My husband does this for me. He's fabulous at it. He's not, I was going to say he's not a trader, he is, but he's a mechanic, so it doesn't count. Guys, I love it. Wainscoting is great. It's cheap. It makes places look pretty special. It gives you a feature wall out of nothing. Um, a big shout out to the lady at Collective Gen, how to make DIY textured chalk paint in any color. Essentially, she sent these, these uh, videos out converting old jars and old vases into um, terracotta looking product but the truth is you can buy your paint in any color pale blue sage greens all look gorgeous with this textured paint added so I've done a, uh, a lamp upstairs like it's just an old lamp I bought from Vinnie's and I've just painted the base and it just looks beautiful so anything that you um, want to do anything that you're about to throw out don't throw it out, pop it aside. And, and if you just wanted to paint a little collection, maybe even all in the one color, everything looks great in white, you are welcome to do that. Have fun, style on a budget. Don't think that you need to throw everything out that you have and go and buy everything new for your place to look the ant's pants when you pop it on the market. So love this. I also love reinventing old furniture or putting a nice spin on new furniture. So if you go to Instagram and you follow sites like uh, Ikea Hacks and Kmart Hacks, you will see people with loads, really creative people with loads of ideas. There's hundreds of thousands of people collectively on those sites. And you can buy this cane and weave off eBay really simply. And now it's in at Bunnings. But for a little while, eBay was the only place I could source it because I think it was pretty new to fashion when I started to use it. I love it for the inserts in cupboards. It adds airflow, it adds flavor, it adds warmth. It too can cross across many bounds if you use the weave or the cane. And uh, I just think it's a really, really nice thing to do to an existing cupboard rather than throw it out. Think about sprucing up with a bit of paint and doing something special to the drawers. Really like that. I also love DIY vanities. 
I've got downstairs an old one I bought for from Facebook Marketplace for $100. It's great big, beautiful vanity with rounded corners, can you believe? And so I'm going to paint that up and add the basins to the top of that, and that's going to be in this renovation. So, you know, it's just really nice. DIYing allows you to create something unique and something special and something that doesn't look like you've just grabbed it from Target. So vertical strips, here's my other favorite. Follow Porter Timber on Instagram and you'll see lots of designers popping up their work. You can buy in Bunnings these Dow strips in singles or you can buy them in panels and you can just cut the panels to size. The beauty of this Dow is it does allow you to go around tables around the base of tables, you know, it goes it goes around corners, right? When you've got little strips like this. And so you can be really, really clever with upgrading or upcycling some of the things that you have at home. This one here is a classic example of an ordinarily plainish white kitchen, white benches. And then just with this timber, there's timber strips there at the kickboard at the back or in front of those stools there and a couple of timber shelves. How beautiful is that? And what a fabulous upgrade. So instead of thinking, oh, my, my goodness, my kitchen is very bland and white and boring, think about what you can do to upcycle it. Awesome, guys. So thanks for listening in for another session. You are welcome to ask comments if you like. Excellent. Have a beautiful day, guys. Go and DIY, be inspired, do stuff that floats your boat, makes your heart go pitter-patter, makes you feel fulfilled. Enjoy every moment. Cheers, guys. Have a good day.